name is Tom, and I work for the Shasta County Department of Resource Management. That means I get to help families, schools, and businesses learn how to recycle. Do you know what that means? Well, don't worry if you don't, because today's book, Recycling is Fun, we're going to learn what recycling means and how to do it. So this is Recycling is Fun by Charles Gingra, illustrated by Ag Jatwaska. Recycling is fun. Recycling is a lot of fun for you and me and everyone. Putting paper in its place puts a smile on your face. Paper, plastic, glass, and tin. We put each one into a bin. So these are called bins. And you see how everything is going into a separate bin? That's recycling. Hooray, hooray, recycle day. A big truck takes our trash away. And see, this is a truck just like we have here. We clean out all our dresser drawers and donate clothes to Goodwill stores. So Goodwill is, you know, where you take old stuff. We save some buttons from the box and make hand puppets from old socks. We cut old sleeves and then we make each of our friends a big pet snake, all made out of socks. We help the planet when we choose to recycle and reuse. And that's that book. And it also has some creative crafts at the end, like how to make your own sock. That's pretty neat, isn't it? So that was a really short book, so I get a little extra time to show you something. So this is a recycling bin, right? Just like we saw in the book. So what do you think would go in a recycling bin? Do you think corn goes in a recycling bin? It's usually plastic and metal and cardboard and, um, and paper. So corn does not go in this recycling bin. It actually goes in what's called a compost bin. And if you come get the craft at the Anderson Library, you're going to have a little sticker in there about a compost bin. So you'll learn what to do and how to recycle food. Do you think an ice cream cone goes in there? Nope, you're right, it doesn't because it's not plastic, and it's not paper, it's not metal. What about this, this newspaper? Does that go in? That's perfect, that perfectly goes in there. What about bacon? Bacon does not go in there, but it could go in the compost maybe, or it could go in your worm bin. Some people have, instead of compost, they use worms to eat the old stuff so they can put it in their garden. Here's one that people ask me about all the time at my job. They say, can I recycle furniture? Some furniture you can. This is wood, and actually right down the road from the library is this big power plant which uses old wood to make energy. It's pretty cool. So it wouldn't go in this, but it would be recycled in a different way. And cardboard. Cardboard, like even toilet paper tubes. You know, at the end of the toilet paper, that's something people don't know. They can recycle that. So that goes in there. Not the toilet paper, just the cardboard. And then plastic. Plastic is really interesting because there's several types of different plastic. Some plastics go in, some don't. But the best way to think of it is like shampoo bottles. And let's see, what else? What other bits of plastic? Um, soda bottles and water bottles, those can be recycled. But others like this toy, this plastic toy, it can't be recycled. So it's good to use your stuff as long as you can get or don't buy plastic stuff. Buy metal, wood, or something like that. So you don't have to worry about plastic. I think, oh I mentioned this before, but this is the activity that um, you can pick up at the Anderson Library. And look right there, compost. So that food would go in there. This plastic, if it was the right kind, would go in there. Aluminum. 
like your soda cans um, or steel uh, tuna fish cans or cat food cans would go in there. Other plastic like your milk jug or your soda bottle. And then paper cardboard like that goes in there. So I am so excited to be able to do this today. Thank you for having me. And remember to recycle as much as possible and reuse as much as possible. Thanks and have a happy Earth Day.